Hello, in this Windows 10 tips and tricks video, we are going to show you OneNote. OneNote is a fantastic application by Microsoft. It's, as the name suggests, it's a application for taking notes. What's so great about it is it's got a plethora of features, which we'll show you some of them in a second, but also it syncs your notes up to your Microsoft account. Also, the notes look beautiful as well, because you got a lot of features. It's not just basic text editing. You can do images, drawing, again, that sort of stuff we'll show you in a moment. But because it syncs up to your Microsoft account, or you can make it sync up to your Microsoft account. You could obviously just always be offline and never sync it, but most likely you'll be syncing it to your Microsoft account. You can store OneNote, it's a free application. You can install it on iOS, Android, Windows, and just check your notes, use that application wherever you are. What I really loved about it was the note taking feature in terms of the physical pen. Um, Feature and I used that all throughout uni for all the years that I was at uni. I had a touch first, I had a touch screen laptop, and then when the Surface Pro came out, I bought a Surface Pro. But I literally bought both of those devices mainly for OneNote because it was fantastic. I've still got all my notes from any lecture or lab that I took a note in to this day and I can access it on my phone anywhere I want. Yes, I generally wouldn't access an old note from my first year of uni, but that's just an example. Imagine if you got other notes or you got a shopping list and it's not just you doing the shopping. Maybe it's a spouse or a bunch of friends living in a flat. You could all have a shared Microsoft account and just sync up all your notes to it. And whoever, let's say, is near a, shop, a supermarket, Go there, I don't know, it's got egg, milks, uh, not milks, egg, milk and bread. And perhaps in the supermarket you go to, there's only egg for whatever reason. You, you you buy the eggs, you check it off and when somebody else goes, let's say an hour later, they're like, okay, somebody's already bought the eggs. You could even make a note saying, I've bought these eggs, uh, this is how much they were, blah, 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 if you can find them cheaper, do this and that. And they think, oh, the milk and bread still unchecked, I'll get these. So there's so many uses for you. I've been talking about how good it is. It's just I love that application so much. So let's just show you the application. I've got it on my stop menu right here. If you don't, it's pretty simple. Just search for it. It's not too hard to find. One note. I'm just going to open this bad boy up. And this is what it looks like when you first open it up. So jot down things to remember. Notes are always saved automatically. Start using OneNote. So it's just connecting to OneDrive and it just starts getting your notes ready. Because if you've been using OneNote for a while and got a lot of notes, it's going to start syncing them up. Because at the moment, if I go into here, I'm just going to click not now because I'm not really fussed about Office 365. I can start taking a note, but as you could see before, it was just saying getting it ready, getting my notes. If it starts saying that, just be patient because on my personal account where I had all my uni notes and other notes as well, it took a little while because you just had to sync them, but I'm actually ready now to, well, start taking notes. So to start a new note, you just click this button right here, go a new note, to name it, because at the moment it just says untitled page, just click right here, and I'm just gonna say my awesome, note so we've got the awesome note all set up there's a little date here as well and a little time you can maximize it so you get rid of some of the stuff on the screen you can obviously easily maximize the window yeah i'm gonna maximize the window i don't really need anything else on windows so so i can just click pretty much anywhere where i want and just start typing i'm gonna put hello world so that's fantastic i don't have to, i'm not really restricted by lines that much so I can put another line right here that's that's another advantage about OneNote you generally wouldn't use OneNote instead of Word and vice versa they have their own purposes OneNote is less of a serious word processing tool and more obviously just a quick note taking and WordPress you will use to create le not leaflets but you know information documentation that sort of stuff so what else can you do in OneNote? So you can type, you got some basic functionality for changing your text styling. If you've used other Microsoft products like Word, Excel, that sort of stuff, or Google Docs, 
or open office you'll be right at home with these sort of features that we've got so you can use the camera if your device has a camera you can insert a picture so I've just clicked on the picture button and I'm just gonna insert this image right here it's just an image from Clash of Clans I can easily just move it around just resize it I'm gonna resize it there and put it there so I'm happy with that now and what also you can do is just put that there click that and now we've got a checkbox system so let's use that example milk bread and egg so now we have this great little checkbox so we could also have a mixture of stuff so we could start having images on images on here maybe draw a line saying this is the milk that I bought it sounds stupid but there, there's so much you can do with it and let's say I bought the milk bought the eggs I can just check these off and maybe even make a note next to it saying it is full fat something like that and obviously you got a lot more styling as well again like I said if you've used this sort of stuff before then you'll feel right at home so if we do insert insert sorry we can add a table so we've got a nice little simple table and obviously we can just move it around add more columns if we need to pretty simple to do this sort of stuff so that's fantastic we can attach a file so if we're creating this great little application and we've got let's say a PDF that we've got to read later maybe you're in a lecture and you just download it while you're there you can just attach it to this particular note that's created on this particular day and then just easily access it so it helps keep stuff together uh, you can also insert a link back in before I go into draw you can go into view so if you want like a a grid line system you can easily have it I did like using this because even though you don't have to stick to the left side or stick to the lines it's just a great guideline that's what I love about it and what I loved is that you could easily switch to let's say a grid line system so uh, like this so if you're doing some sort of maths it's a lot better with something like this so it's easily adaptable compared to paper so that's another great thing if you compare it to physical paper it's better for the environment you can access it anywhere generally speaking you're more organized it's less volatile because I know you could obviously say you might lose your password or you can't access the account or I don't know the Microsoft servers where to get wiped but those two things happening is unlikely even if you lose your password you most likely can recover it so using OneNote over conventional paper for a lot of stuff is significantly better not that you won't use paper it's just try and use one note as much as possible zoom in and out pretty simple stuff and obviously you can just scale it back to 100 percent but drawing this is the highlight of this feature so i'm just going to click the pen and i'm going to start drawing like so i'm using a mouse so it doesn't actually look that good but you can easily do annotations or say this is the bread I want even though it's an image of Clash of Clans you can start doing highlighting as well I had a surface and a touchscreen laptop with a pen and with that oh, oh my god I've got to say it was I've already said it's like amazing but it was fantastic so if you're really interested in note taking using a pen light system or a writing light system and you've got a bit of money burning a hole in your pocket like a few hundred quid or so you can you can get them quite cheap off ebay as well surface pro now i really do recommend getting a surface pro because they're fantastic devices for note taking and like i said you got a, a bunch of features so if we just click this you can change the thickness change the color so draw with mouse or touch and then you can start erasing stuff as well which is pretty sweet and obviously you can just start cutting stuff I don't want to mess with that and you can easily start typing as well so that's it with OneNote actually let me just do some lines here I've done these lines so maybe I want to undo just click this undo button right here and you start going back and maybe I want to share this masterpiece click the share button and you can share it via email, share it via OneNote, and you can add more notes as well. So it's that simple. Actually, 
let's just show you what you can do in here you can actually create more notebooks so this allows you to sort of group these notes because you can think of these as pages so you could create a notebook for I don't know university you could create a notebook for shopping you I mean like a shopping list supermarket you could create a notebook for kids a notebook for ideas and then inside each one of them is create a note maybe for each day or each individual lecture or each shopping list each idea that sort of stuff it just helps group them together so that's it for OneNote it's been a long video most of it's just been me telling you how much I love OneNote and I seriously do thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there'll be a link in the description to that please rate comment and subscribe and it does really help keep the content free plus it also helps us provide more content like this on a regular basis and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day